Welcome to the worksheet, Matter, Substances versus Mixtures. So this worksheet is great because it has this little diagram right here in the front. So it's reminding us that matter can be broken up into either substances, which we can write chemical formulas for, homogeneous, remember homogeneous means the same throughout. And mixtures have a variable ratio, which means there's no formula for that. Elements are one, <coughs> excuse me, one type of atom, compounds two or more atoms chemically bonded. So you're going to use the periodic table. Mixtures, on the other hand, homogeneous, which are the same throughout, but they're variable ratios, so solutions. And then heterogeneous, those are things like colloids and suspensions. Okay, so classify each of the following as to whether it is a substance or a mixture. If it's a substance, write element or compound. If it's a mixture, write heterogeneous or homogeneous. Okay, <clears throat> so the first thing is chlorine. What is chlorine? Chlorine is an element on the periodic table. So since it's on the periodic table, it's an element. Elements are pure substances, and we can write their formula. Water has a, and by the way, chlorine's formula is Cl, which we're gonna learn later is Cl2, but I'll figure that out later. Water, you should know, has a formula, H2O, so since it has a formula, it's a substance, but it has two different elements, so we call that a compound, okay? Soil does not have a formula, which means it cannot be a substance. So then the question is, is it a mixture? What kind of mixture? Well, if you see different parts to it, that means like uh, the brown humus, the you know, sticks and twigs and grasses and rocks, that would mean this would be heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Sugar, water, does not have a formula, so it would be a mixture. But the question is, would it be the same throughout or would there be differences that you can see? Sugar, water should be the same throughout. It should be homogeneous, okay? Oxygen has a formula, O2, or if you didn't know why it's O2, just O at this point, which means it is a substance. It is a pure element. Carbon dioxide has a formula which means it is a pure substance, it is a compound because there are more than one element. Rocky Road ice cream does not have a formula, so that would go under mixture, and it would go under heterogeneous. Now why would it go under heterogeneous, it's a G by the way. Why would it go under heterogeneous? That would be because you see the differences. Now if you've never had Rocky Road ice cream, it's like chocolate, ice cream, marshmallow swirl, nuts, and maybe chocolate chunks. There's all kinds of different things that you can see. It is not the same throughout. Alcohol is actually a compound. Weird, huh? Alcohols are things like CH3OH. It's a group of compounds. CH3OH is uh, methanol. Um, now, you might have put that it is a homogeneous mixture. And that is okay to start, but you're going to learn that it is indeed a compound, alcohols. Pure air. I don't like how they call it pure air. If it just is air, then you know that air is a mixture, okay? It's a mixture of things like nitrogen and oxygen and maybe some carbon dioxide and some other trace elements, but there's no formula for air. So it cannot be a substance. It's a mixture that looks the same throughout, homogeneous, same throughout. Finally, iron has a formula. It is an element, which makes it a pure substance, okay? Maybe number eight was tricky, but I think the rest should be okay. So if you have questions, please reach out. Thank you.